So let's take a look at fragments in GraphQL. So we'll start with graphqlhub.com and here I have Graph, GraphQL's stock APIs such as GitHub, Hacker News, Reading, etc. So let's pick GitHub okay, and open this in this new window. Here you have uh, option to enter your queries and I'm going to start with GitHub. And here I'm going to start with repo, which takes arguments such as name. Let's name one as express. Okay. Another being on a username, which is express.js. Here we have ID. Then, okay, so this is one, okay, this is one set of requests we can make for that. Can set bias as well, something like let's say repo one and then colon, and we have this GitHub. Okay, so here I'm going to copy and paste this again below and name it as repo two. Okay, this is the second request we are going to send for that. We are using the bias now. If I want to make use of single field for sending these repetitive queries or say repetitive fields being used in these two uh, queries i can do that with the help of fragment so i'm going to type in fragment and here i'm going to type in repo field okay on and here i have to mention where so we have GitHub repo that is going to have this field ID and name. So inside this, we are going to just make a list ID, then name. Then you can go ahead with additional such as, uh, let's say, in the docs, you can check commit issues branches. So you can go with commits. Okay, so I'm going to type in commit limit set to file as you can see you can also mess this with branches as well okay so let's keep this minimum now if you want to use uh, this fragment inside your queries you have to use three dots and then use repo field okay so let's change this for both one to three Okay, now this should help you point to this fragment. Now if I run this, I should be getting exact result. Okay, you can change the names okay, you know, so that it fetches another repository. So there is one Morgan and one Express. Okay, so when you are going to use fragments. So fragments are used to avoid your repetitive set of queries that you make within your, let's say, a proper function here, such as that repo. Okay, so with repo function, you are calling for multiple uh, fields, such as this ID and name. Okay, so such function can take fragment, and when you want to use repetitive fields uh, query then you can use fragment 